Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers. Today, number nine of my whiskey advent calendar. Today, I got Springbank, 15-year-old. Stick around. Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers, to another episode of my advent calendar here. Like I said, I got Springbank, 15-year-old, single malt scotch whiskey from Campbelltown. As you can see, I just poured the last bit because this is my second take. The damn audio went out on my first take, like halfway through the video. And like I said, I get very nervous when I make these kind of videos because this is all I have. So if this audio goes out again, that's it, it's done. So, but either way, um, this one right here was donated by my good friend out in Sweden, Frederick from the uh, YouTube channel, Whiskey Pilgrim. Again, if you guys haven't checked him out, please go to his channel sub because he's got these kinds of whiskeys and more um that you don't really see around that often so go ahead and check them out link to his channel in the description below all right so like i said this is a 15 year old uh from spring bank another campbelltown peated scotch whiskey this one's aged in all 100 percent eggs sherry casks uh 46 percent abb and this will cost you around 117 dollars so I don't know if they add coloring to this, but if they don't, it's a really nice uh, pale kind of color, a little bit more on the gold side than yesterday's. So let's see what we get on the nose. Lots of cherry influence going on for sure on this one. I get a lot of the um, dark kind of berries and fruits plums some dark cherries a nice kind of like grapey reminds me of like a red wine and there's also a nice nutty kind of nose coming out like like a walnut kind of kind of a nutty flavor or scent nice maltiness also also going on giving me that like a like a milk chocolate kind of kind of nose. That peaty uh, <laughs> uh, scent is it's in there, but the sherry and all everything else is really taking over, or maybe it's just slightly peated. I'm not sure. But definitely yesterday's had a lot more going on with the peat. All right, let's move on to the taste. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, really enjoying these Campbelltown whiskeys. This one, like I said, pretty much what's on the nose matches on the palate. This time I'm getting a lot more of that walnut kind of nuttiness mixed in with the chocolate, more like a dark chocolate on the palate because that peaty flavor uh, really starts taking over on the palate. It's just reminding me of like charcoal kind of flavor and those fruit notes come through, but not as much as the, the peat and walnut kind of flavor. It's also giving me like a creaminess because of that. Like, so imagine chewing on some walnuts, that creaminess that you feel from a walnut. That's, that's what I get here. One more taste. Mmm. Yeah, those plums and the the red kind of cherries coming out nicely on this one, giving me a, giving me a nice tangy sensation right here on the sides of my cheeks. So really nice, really nice. Enjoying these Campbelltown whiskeys, like I said. So my my final thoughts on this one right here, even though it's it's an awesome whiskey, $117. It's a little steep for me. And like I said, it's pretty good. But yesterday's yesterday's gave me a little bit more. I think it was that spiciness and, and the, the bourbon flavors that really came out on top for me. So like, again, everybody's palate is different. So it doesn't mean that this is a bad whiskey. 
This just means that I enjoyed the other one a little bit more. Plus, the price <laughs> plays a big, big role on this for me. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a nice whiskey. I think I enjoyed um, the Long Grow 18 a lot more. So that one I would definitely pay the $230. Uh, but this one, I don't know. Maybe if I saw it on sale for a little bit cheaper, it would change, change my mind. But nonetheless, a really good whiskey. All right. That's it for today, guys. I think this one went a little bit quicker just because I had already done it and I already kind of knew what kind of flavors were going to come out. But um, yeah, if you guys like those kind of flavors and you don't mind spending the dollars, definitely pick it up. It won't disappoint. All right. Cheers, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully the audio didn't crap out of me this time. Cheers. Peace.